Today we're going to be talking about stress, strain and Jung's modulus. So let's get started by talking about stress in, um, in mechanics first of all. So stress is a very useful quantity that, um, that we can use whenever there is a, either a compressive or a tensile force, a force which attempts to stretch a material. Um, let's illustrate this with this example. Let's say that we have a wire as illustrated over here. And what we're going to try to do is stretch that wire. So we're going to be applying a tensile force. So uh, let's say that we apply a force on this end F and then simultaneously we apply the same force on to the other end. So let me make sure that I draw these vectors a little bit more carefully. There we go, it's a bit better. So we apply a force F which attempts to stretch this wire. Now the stress is normally given the Greek letter sigma and uh, it's defined as the amount of force per unit cross sectional area. The units of stress are therefore newtons per meter squared, like so, and m to the power of minus 2. A um, couple of important points, this area here, it's not the surface area, it's the cross-sectional area. For example, if this here was a, a cylindrical wire, like so, it will be the cross-sectional area which will be given by pi r squared. Now, talking about stress, it's really, really important as well to define the ultimate tensile strength of the material. So this is the maximum stress that a material can withstand while being stretched. Whenever a force is applied, this is the maximum amount of stress that it can withstand before it reaches its breaking point. For example, if we were to extend this, um, this wire, it will keep on stretching at some point, at some amount of force F, it will reach its breaking point, and this is the ultimate tensile strength of this material. Now let's have a look at what the next quantity is, which is strain. So let's write down over here, strain. This is normally written like this, it's given the Greek letter epsilon. Now strain is defined as the extension, as a proportion of the original length of the material, let's call that x. So x is your extension and l over here is your original length. Now because your extension is your final length minus the original length, we could also write this down as let's say l2 which is let's say our final length or shall we just give it a subscript LF, like so, minus L divided by the original length. I'm just going to make a little note over here that this over here is our final length. Now notice something here. The units on the top is length minus length, so that's going to have units of meters, and the units at the bottom are also meters because that's your original length so strain actually has uh, no units it's a unitless quantity which is just a number and now let's look at the final quantity or our list of quantities that we're going to be talking about today and this is Young's modulus. Now Young's modulus is given in your formula booklet with the following symbol uh, E. Please don't confuse that with elastic potential energy or any other energy. E in this case is Young's modulus and this is defined as stress over strain. So Young's modulus is simply stress over 
strain. Now, because stress has units of newtons per meter squared and strain is unitless, that means that Young's modulus is going to have units of newtons per meter squared as well, like so. We can extend this equation even further uh, just by saying that stress is force over area and uh, the extension is given or sorry the strain is given by extension divided by original length and this is an equation for the young's modulus of a material this is a really important property in uh, materials because it gives us an idea of how a mat given material will behave if you apply a certain stress onto it we can see that um, what Jung's modulus this equation is telling us is that stress for example is proportional to strain and that constant of proportionality is in fact Young's modulus. Depending on a diff, depending on what type of material you're dealing with, then uh, this Young's um, Young's modulus could uh, could have a different value, which will influence the way this material behaves. And this is why this quantity is very very important. Okay, folks. So hopefully this makes sense. If there are any questions, uh, please uh, feel free to drop a comment down below and please consider subscribing. Thanks.